Hi, welcome to this video on MS SQL covering the WHERE clause, in particular covering multiple conditions. On screen you can see a standard select from a table called full table. It's returning everything in this table because I haven't got any conditions. Uh, as I've shown you in the previous video, you can add a condition using WHERE. So if I do... Oops. I do where type equals artifact I can limit my the data that's returned using this where clause now something just to note here um, in SQL everything's got to be put in the correct order so you start with the select what data it is you want to return to screen then you say where the data is held then you say any conditions and limiters that you want to put in and then following that you put your group by you're having in your order by which we've talked about previously as well so all of these things need to go in in um, order but with the where clause you can add multiple conditions and they will all sit within this kind of block if you like so you begin your where clause with where but you don't put where again if you want to add another condition you use the keyword and so we can say and the name like alter <clears throat> and this then reading the SQL here, get me this data from this table where the type is artifact and the name contains the word alter. And there is our data. And we can add as many ands in there as we like. Um, greater than two, maybe. Uh, and ft date equals um, 12th of July 2019. Very, very um narrow search there by putting a lot of conditions in you, you can't put where multiple times you put where once um and then you follow it with and there is an alternative to and so if i just come back here and i do this here um this is returning where the type is artifact and the name has alter in it but maybe i want to be a little bit more general so i maybe want to search for anything that is an artifact or i want it to have that word in the name so if i put in or instead of and that's exactly what that'll do so you can see here this first um return here it doesn't have alter in it but it is an artifact you can see here this has alter in it but it's not an artifact so it's returned because one of these two uh is right one of these two is correct based on on the row in the table now you've got to be very very careful when you're using an or <clears throat> because imagine i want to return everything that is an artifact and i want to narrow that to say i want to return everything that's an artifact and also where it is either has a one in this column or has a four in this column but the important thing is i want to return everything that's an artifact and then filter it on either one in here or four in here so if i type that if i just type it as i'm kind of saying it so Give me everything where type is artifact and ft is colorless equals one or ft summon value equals four. Say, if I run that, um, it's going to return too much data. So if we look at this as an example, it isn't an artifact. Colorless is zero, but the summon value is four. And the reason reading this, what this is saying is get me everything where the type is artifact and the colorless equals zero or ft sum of value equals four so what the sequel is saying is you want this and this or you want this last line so it's returning that condition by itself so it's it's returning these two together it's not in fact in one or the sum of value is four so in order to fix it you need to put brackets around the logic and in this case it's saying right get me everything that's an artifact and in fact, if i just put a tab there to kind of show you that this is um a piece by itself um you have everything's an artifact and colorless equals one or sum of value equals four and if i run that that will now return you can see all of these they're all artifacts this is colorless one so that's why they're being returned and where it isn't colorless one the sum of value is four that's the end of this video. I hope you find it helpful.